hi guys welcome back to my channel what's good a lot of the things have been going on i released another song with one of my friends i will put it up on the screen as well as in the description below kiwi's with us <laughs> If you want to know what's up, visit my Aquatia page on Facebook and Instagram and that'll give you an idea. Today's video is a six, seven, yeah, seven month rhinoplasty nose job post-op update. The one thing I won't be discussing is the price because I asked my surgeon and he said that prices are changing with COVID and everything so the price that I paid for my rhinoplasty is not the price that it is now. Um, so the best thing if you want to know how much a rhinoplasty costs then go straight to him. I'll leave his links in the description as well as his email and stuff like that. Um, for more information about him you can also check out uh, my first video which I will link here but also in the description and also prices range depending on what you need the procedure you have and stuff like that so just for backstory I had a preservation rhinoplasty which basically keeps the nose intact during surgery and recoveries a lot faster I have a whole vlog on my experience pre-surgery, surgery, and then post-op recovery. Again, I'll link that down below. I go into detail about surgery as well um, in there. Yeah, that surgery not only was aesthetic, but he also straightened my septum and removed a lot of inflamed tissue. So my breathing has literally been so, so good. And ever since my rhinoplasty, I have not gotten a sore throat, if not once. And that's once in seven months during a pandemic and during winter, autumn, cold months, you know. And before my rhinoplasty, if I didn't have a sore throat, that was a miracle. So the fact that I've only had it once in seven months, which only lasted like three days anyway, is literally a miracle and it's just proof that when something's not going on in your nose it can affect so many other things so my health in general has been so so much better and i'm really thankful for that yeah so that's the first update my breathing my health has gotten so much better since my rhinoplasty which is something i expected but not to the extent that it has been so i'm super happy about that Second, my nose has gone down so much. Um, obviously, swelling is known to last for about a year. Once you hit a year, that's pretty much how your nose is going to be. But up until that point, your nose is still healing. Uh, a lot of the healing is done between six weeks, three months, and then six months. And then after six months, you're pretty much healed, but it still does the last um, six months until a year. But But I noticed that my nose really took a shift, I think around like the fifth month. When I first got my cast off, my nose already looked great. Um, but the swelling, you know, went up and down. Um, it still hurt to like blow my nose. So I would be very careful with that. If I lifted heavy weights, I like the gym, for example, I would feel pressure in my nose. Um, so I definitely felt that it was healing. Towards three months, my nose was definitely already way less swollen um i actually i'll try to insert pictures if i can find them it was definitely less swollen um i started to blow my nose a lot easier and I, I think around that time i also didn't really feel much pressure in my nose when i lifted weights or anything like that so that was a good um point of okay yeah my nose is definitely healing then Around the fifth and sixth month, my nose completely like went and now I blew my nose, no problem. Like I don't feel any pain or anything. The reason I felt pain by the way is because stitches are here like in the septum. So you can feel it when you're blowing your nose. But now I don't at all, which has been, yeah, a good sign of my healing as well. But my tip has now dropped, which means that before it kind of went upwards and now it's kind of like dropped to be more straight. And this is the front view. And this is my left, my right. 
So I don't have actually any foundation on today because I'm not feeling like it but also I wanted to show you guys my nose without any makeup so you can get a pure idea of what it looks like. Yeah, the swelling keeps going down. Um, some days every now and then it does still kind of feel a bit tender here. Like today, my nose feels like nothing, you know? Another thing that you need to be aware of is your skin will produce a lot of oil around your nose so make sure to keep it clean but also be gentle. Now at like six, seven months post-op, I have noticed my skin going back to normal. So I think around six months you really see evident changes. Like six months, seven months has been, or five to six months has been like that very pivotal moment for me. So those are like the updates of pain, recovery, how has it affected my health and the aesthetic parts and any pains or anything like that. So the general questions I get asked is what were the post-op situations like? So after you have your like tape and everything removed, um, you generally, genuinely, you generally have you generally have a three month post op check, a six month post op check, and then the final twelve months slash a year post op check. Those checks are checkups are to make sure that everything is fine, everything's healing well, that it's looking well. Um, if you have any concerns, that's the perfect time to like talk about it and show it. Um, so those are like the ready scheduled checkups that you automatically get after your rhinoplasty. However, on the morning of surgery or like the day of surgery after I came out of uh, the operation and I woke up and everything um, Dr. Rukira actually came up to me and gave me his email address and he says that his response rate is about an hour and, you'll ch and he can answer any questions you had so like for example one night I drifted and I punched myself and I was like oh I'm freaking out and he said Gabby you have a cost you're gonna be fine um, in fact it wasn't like a punch it's more like a a nudge but anyway I was freaking out and he replied to me immediately and I was like don't worry about it you have a cost you're good and then another time I was like asking him about saline solution how long to use it how to clean it he gave me all the instructions so he is insanely um, involved in your recovery and available in your recovery he is makes a point of being very available and very accessible which I really value because I was scared that he was gonna like do the surgery and leave me <laughs> but that was not the case even to this day that I am seven going into my eighth month of being post-op we still like talk on Instagram he, you know I still whenever I go to see him he's always asking how are you and you know if there's any updates on emails like stuff with my music he's been super supportive so he's a really amazing guy and I think that really plays into his uh, profession of being a surgeon because he actually cares about you so when it comes to the post-op him self as a surgeon but also his team the team I I was assigned um, to literally were amazing and there wasn't a moment that I felt alone or left in the dark or anything they answered any questions um, before surgery after surgery any questions I needed um, you know any appointments that I needed for any specific reason they would like provide so yeah it's the post-op care is really really amazing I felt extremely comfortable and this is coming from someone who's had like eight months of experience with them you know all the pre-op and then the surgery and then the post-op and now the um, remainder of the post-op I can honestly say that the quality of care has not gotten any less just because I'm healed you know Um, another general question that people ask me is how my singing voice has gotten and honestly at first I didn't really expect much of a change but my singing teacher or my vocal coach actually told me that my voice has opened up so much so now it's just like endless we are thriving in the vocal department <laughs> so if you're a singer or you use your voice acting or whatever you use your voice for. 
a rhinoplasty either doesn't change it or if you're like me and had inflamed tissue and a deviated septum it can actually open it up and make it even clearer and even better he if you ask for it he will so um he took a nose of he took a photo of my nose, he edited it on his computer to give me an idea of what he was thinking also so that you can kind of understand what the end result is going to be because obviously if he has something in mind that you don't like or vice versa, you can talk about it and come to the best conclusion. So he did that and um, people asked me if it came out the same or worse or better than um, the photo simulation he did and in my opinion mine came out better because obviously in the photo simulation you can only do so much but also the one thing i've noticed is that when you actually have the surgery because he put a graft here and here it also like changed slightly like my face um structure in a positive way like it balanced everything out so i feel like my nose shape and actually the symmetry of my face has gotten so much better and it looks better than the simulation but the simulation was a great indication of the result so yes you can ask for a simulation i think you have to ask for it beforehand so make sure to mention that when you're booking your consultation and two it's most likely going to look like the simulation if not better in my opinion it might look a little bit different because your face also might heal differently but the general consensus from what i've seen at least is that it pretty much is what he will show you but mine were better so yeah, it's a it's definitely um, a good thing to have if you really want to know what it'll look like, give or take, you know? I think to have plastic surgery, um, even if it is like something medical, like partially it was for me with my septum, when I fixed my nose, I noticed that I started asking myself, what else can I fix? So I started looking in the mirror and I was like, oh, I have a bit of extra padding here can i get that lipo and i i was thinking of ways to better myself better myself or fix myself because i did what did that with my nose i made sure to not let that affect me it was like an active decision so it, it didn't affect me if anything after i got out of that phase my confidence completely skyrocketed like as you guys can see i have a pixie now again now i love this i love pixies on me i love a fringe on me i love showing my face i love more natural makeup it really enhanced and yeah it enhanced my features it allowed me to really just express myself because i would always feel held back um and because when you look at baby pictures of myself, I, the nose I have now is like, or similar to the nose I had when I was a baby. After like growing up and having that uh, accident and just environmental changes, I guess, my nose really started to change and so I didn't, it just didn't fit. I feel like myself again, because I'm finally myself. I, I know that probably sounds weird. There is that danger of feeling like, what else can I fix? But if you balance it with actually no, why did I do this in the first place? It kind of brings you back to that focal. Do I recommend a rhinoplasty? Do I recommend plastic surgery? Do I recommend surgeries that alter your that alter your um, appearance? Yes, but if you are mentally and emotionally ready. Yeah, just making sure that you're healthy mentally and in a good place before you go through with surgeries like a rhinoplasty or any type of plastic surgery is paramount. Um, and I just really want to stress that insecurity is within and until you fix that, no matter how many surgeries you get, you're not going to feel that. I was comfortable and happy in my own skin before I got the surgery and i feel like that's what made a difference do i recommend a rhinoplasty or plastic surgery yes but if you're in the right frame of mind um and do i recommend dr dario rokira a thousand percent yes i wouldn't have gone with anyone else i went to different consultations i did my research blah, 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 and honestly amazing the aftercare is amazing Yeah. <laughs>
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my music, my new song, but also my original EP that I have released. I'll link everything in the description. And don't forget to check out my first rhinoplasty video, which is super informative as well. I love you guys. Stay positive, stay happy. There's light coming and let's just manifest positive vibes. Bye. Really know what to say, but oh.